<clears throat> Hello, people of the internet. This is uh, Chief Reporter Wolf here, reporting reporting live, in which uh, which Brown in which President Brownstone producer is meeting with the uh, Lunar Equestrian Leader Princess Luna for her historic summit. Right now, I am at the meeting at the meeting place where Brownstone and Luna are expected to meet. They are to discuss the the future of uh, Pongo's Equestrian Civil War series, yes, and where their expeditions to the United Lunar Republic could help could could help with the production of of the films. Ah, Brownstone, it is an honor to uh, to being able to meet with you. It is an honor to see you to see you too. Princess Luna, please, just Luna is fine. I don't, I don't really go for the formality sort of type. I see. All right. So, what did you want this? Uh, what did you want to meet with me for? Well, <clears throat> just thought uh, it it would be a meeting between world leaders. Ah, yeah. But you're obviously here for something. So, what is it? Well. Uh, hold on. We just got a me me message from. Uh, we just got a message from Lobster. Harry, you gotta update your website. Yeah, we're gonna get there. But first, we gotta check out check out this uh, historic historic summit summit first. Couldn't miss it. Yeah. So, do you come here often? No. <laughs> I thought not. So this is about uh, the movies regarding my nation. Am I correct? Yes. Pongo has an equestrian uh, has an entire series devoted to uh to, to this country and uh we were wondering if you could uh, allow uh, are you cuz I am really okay so uh so Pongo has has an entire equestrian a civil war series based on your nation and we were wondering if expeditions to this country could help Pongo in some sort of way Hmm, it might. Equestria is so full of rich history. It has a rich culture. It has a, a, pre a pretty awesome awesome past. You know, if you were at a National History Museum, the tour guides could tell to tell you all about our our history. How how we declared independence from uh from, from my sister's solar empire, how we fought fought in the war and yeah. In fact, Pongo's making a making a making the first movie about that. I heard he already completed the second one. How did it go? Well, it's got uh, so far are uh, over a hundred views and uh, and four likes. Really? I had no idea it would be it would be so popular. Well, <clears throat> I'd be delighted if Pongo were to visit uh, visit my country. It uh, it would certainly boost uh, boost the United Lunar Republic's status on the world stage. You know. Really? Hmm. Well, if it's to help help both of our nations, I I don't see any I don't see any problem. Um, neither do I. However, there are there are some some tips I need to tell you, and you need to tell Pongo this: no trying to convert our country to Disneyism. Um, why ever will we do that? Well, it's uh, it's sort of a national uh, national security security thing. We don't want to open up to uh to a Disney a Disney takeover. This is just for visiting and documenting history only. And got it? If I if I catch Pongo trying to convert any one of our one of one of my citizens to Disneyism, he gets booted. Same goes for any other religion. Yeah. Uh I'll make sure to tell to tell him that. Good. Yeah, Luna just remarked about about not converting about not converting the ponies to Disneyism. <laughs> okay, when Pongo goes on his first expedition, I hope he knows that. So yeah, the two uh, the two leaders are discussing are, are discussing expeditions to the United Lunar Republic to help with Pongo's films because Pongo is starting to get out of his uh, director's block. However, he still needs some inspiration. 
and going to this country, eh, should do it. Yeah. Ah, I assume you've heard the news about him as, as my new, you know, my new legendary. Uh, uh, no, I asked you, I asked you about it, but I, but I think I clicked away. I think, I think, I think I clicked away too late before, before you responded. Uh, can you put down your response? <laughs> oh, he did, huh? All right, yeah. I nearly spit out spit out my oats when I realized that uh, that that you were fighting fighting against the Phantom Menace. Yeah, you don't have that sort of uh, toxic toxic fan group here, right? Uh, no, we don't allow for for extremism here. We've already had to deal with deal with extremism al already in the Equestrian Civil War, and since our country is still recovering, we need to play things play things safe. Anything that could threaten our threaten our democracy. Has to be dealt no, dealt with accordingly. Hey, I see. Is that why you're uh, you're on edge against against Disneyism? One of the many reasons. Our our economy is still is still developing, even though Hawk Hawk is doing wonders for this for this country as it is. Oh, so Hawk has already been already already been elected in this timeline. Has there been a conspiracy that has booted him out of out of office? Uh, yes, we've already been through that. Really? Hey, yes. And I must say it, I do not like talking about it. I got, I got, I got placed on the sidelines. Amber Race took power, took, took power from the Senate and basically became a dictator. If it wasn't for Ocellus, this Republic would have fallen. Yeah, I can see why you are kind of angry about that. No matter, yeah. No matter if Pongo goes by the rules, he'll be fine. So uh, let's see what Lofter replied here. Him asked is a legendary dark monster that is the black matter that gets stronger with each victory. When Captain Cobberbeard found out about him, asked, he searched for him and made him part of the crew. Really? Wow, that's so cool. Oh, that's so that's so cool. So I'll authorize uh, this uh, this expedition as long as Pongo plays by the uh, you know, plays by the rules. Yeah, he'll play by the rules. Uh, I'm interested. Uh, I'm also interested in where their um, where their trade could start between between your two nations. Trade, hmm. Yeah. After all, after all, it's not it's not every day that the internet and uh, and a world a world nation get gets to uh, engage in. Uh, in trade partnership, right? That would be delightful. Well, I'll, I'll I'll see if Hawk Hawk is interested in it. It's not it's it's not not really my my place to judge. I'm just here on a ceremonial role. Well, the Senate and uh, 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 the Senate and the courts have all the have all the power, including Hawk. So wait, so you're like the Queen of Great Queen of Great Britain. There for a ceremonial role. Well, I play more of a, I play more of a political role, but that's only if I have to bring out uh, emergency, emergency executive powers. Those are the, those are included as part of the new, uh, and part of the United Lunar Republic Constitution. Right. So uh, you can go from ceremonial to an actual, actual ruler at, at, at a whim. That's actually pretty cool. I wouldn't say at a whim. And I completely went on the war path against a group of authoritarian fascists that tried to look like Roman soldiers with football gear. <laughs> Did you hear someone laughing? Um I I don't think I don't think I did. Is someone in the room with us? Uh, oops, sorry, I'm the reporter. Wah. Yeah, I'm live streaming this summit. Get out. Um, I, um, uh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, out. Anyways, you were saying? Hey, right. 
So, uh, Pongo can start her expeditions to the Jedi Lunar Republic, and uh, we can start the trade relations. It's gonna be it's gonna be so so cool. I can uh, feature I, I can I can feature your nation in a lot more videos, and uh, it'll help boost you, you know, boost the United Lunar Republic on a world stage. Hmm. I like I like that. As I said, I'll see if Hawk Hawk or the Senate is interested in it. They'll honestly they'll they'll vote on that. I'm sure. But I'm honestly, I, I honestly think that it's an opportunity they can't miss. Huh. How times have uh, how times have changed these days. Yeah. Yeah. How time has changed. Old Old World Blues is the third DLC of Fallout New Vegas, taking place in the in the big MT Science Center. As the courier tries to retrieve their brain with the help of a few scientists. <laughs> Do you think you wanted to lock lock the door? I think so. I my, I think I'll lock. I think I'll lock the door next time. So, so yes, yes. I think and I, I think expeditions will be delight will be delightful, and I hope the Senate votes for votes for the trade deal. You want me to sign? You want me to sign this? Yeah, it's just a blank piece of paper. What? Oh wait. Oh whoopsies. That wasn't the. Uh, that wasn't the paper I was looking for. Da dun da dun da. Bling. Ah, there we go. All right. As I said before, it's it's been a delight. It's been a, it's been a delight meeting with you. New Brownstone. I hope we can meet meet like this again. I hope so too. See you soon. See you soon. Boom. I just forgot this wasn't outside. Okay, what you saw there was what you saw there was the aftermath of the summit. And uh, and honestly, I hope you enjoyed it. It was very comedic. And honestly, we didn't honestly, we didn't get all of it because Princess Luna chased me out many times. But I hope you uh, I, I hope you enjoyed it. And maybe this will be featured in the next Tales of Pongo episode. I don't know. I'll ask Brownstone. Anyways, bye.